So I want to try and summarize geometric tolerancing with how location, orientation, and form creates a hierarchy. You start with location, then you can refine as you go down. So here I have our part where we have datum feature A is the bottom, B is the size. This creates your datum reference frame. We define all of our features with basic dimensions to define the true geometry. And then profile tolerance. Profile tolerance is such a powerful control and one of our main tolerances because it creates two parallel planes that controls the location of where that surface is. Notice how when you locate a surface within two parallel planes, you also control the orientation, you also control the form. Now if you want to, you can add an orientation tolerance to this to refine. So parallelism could be added underneath. Now that's going to create another tolerance zone inside that controls the orientation. Now if you want to, you can add one more and you can add a flatness of 0.1 and that's going to be another tolerance zone that floats inside and can be best fit to control just the flatness. Now you don't really need these other two, right? I mean parallelism and flatness are being controlled by profile. So if you want to add one, they're used to refine. Like I don't care where it is, but it needs to be more parallel. I don't care how it's tilted, but it needs to be flat. So you refine with these other controls. I always thought to explain this, I needed one of those Russian nesting dolls. Remember those? And we would have a Russian nesting doll, the big one, it would say location tolerance on it. And then I could pop off the head and be like, oh, there's orientation tolerance inside. And then I'd pop off the head and oh, there's form tolerance inside of that. So you could see the hierarchy of location, then orientation, then form. And that controls the variations on a surface, location, orientation, and form, refined as you go down. I think it helps when you look at the hierarchy on a real manufactured part too and not just looking at that CAD model or 2D drawing. So remember this part on this top surface, it had a profile tolerance of 0.6 to A. This is controlling location, distance relative to the datum plane we have on the bottom. The middle one here, parallelism, is controlling orientation or the tilt relative to the datum plane. And the last one, see how it has no datum here, and flatness is a form tolerance, so that's just going to be relative to itself. So here's our basic dimension, the height that it should have been was 62, and this surface was produced a little bit high. So if you wanted to look at what is the actual zone that this surface is falling within, remember profile tolerance is two times that worst case deviation. So here's our worst case deviation relative to our basic, and then it's centered on there. So this would be the profile zone that the entire surface falls within. We take our tone zone centered on the basic and squeeze it until you hit that worst point. So that's going to be your profile evaluation. Now with parallelism, parallelism isn't really caring about the basic dimension at all. All we care about is relationship, the tilt, to the datum. So now you're going to be looking at that max minus the min, and that will be the parallelism. So how much is that surface tilted relative to a datum plane? You're looking at that min point and that max point and looking at that deviation. Now the last one is the form tolerance, and form has no datum to it, so it's just going to be to itself. And this one actually has a really good to itself. The to itself is going to be the smallest pair of planes that would be best fit to itself. So you see how the tolerance zone is the same. Profile is two parallel planes, but they're centered on the basic dimension. Parallelism is two parallel planes that can float and best fit max minus min. And then flatness is two parallel planes that are unconstrained, just looking at the concave, convex, and waviness on that surface. Now features of size are slightly different. They're going to have two controls on them, both a size tolerance and a position tolerance. So our plus or minus 0.05 on that hole that controls both the size and the form, how big and small it is, and it also controls the shape. So now we need to relate where that feature is to the rest of the part. So we use position tolerance to do that. And we've learned in this lesson that location controls where the hole is, but it also controls orientation. So size controls form through rule number one, MMC and LMC limits there. You could refine if you want with a cylindricity or straightness, usually not necessary. And then position tolerance controls your location orientation, but you can refine if you want to by going tighter. And I would say that most of these are unnecessary. We don't really need parallelisms and flatnesses because our location tolerance does everything. So remember that surfaces, they can vary in three ways. Form, orientation, and location. 
But if you have a feature of size, like a hole, slat, tab, or pin, then they can vary in one more, and that's size. So when we put a size tolerance on here, we know that size tolerance, just a plain old plus or minus tolerance, is going to control size and form through rule number one. So we need to control its orientation and location, so we use position tolerance to do that. Now profile is usually applied to surfaces, and surfaces don't have size, but profile tolerance can do all of this. Now we will see in unit 13 that if we apply profile to a feature of size, like profile on a shaft, we can actually get it to do this as well. <laughs> so that's why these are the biggest symbols we talk about in this class, position and profile. It's because they handle most of our variation. For a feature of size, we usually put a size tolerance and a position on it. And if it's a surface, we're going to use profile because that controls form, orientation, location. And if it's a feature of size, we can sometimes even use profile for that. So our most powerful symbols are all about position and profile. Definitely our one-two punch for attacking those drawings.